Hello, everyone. In today's drum set lesson, we're going to dive into Steve Gadd's Gadamans, a book that he wrote during the pandemic. In this book, he has a lot of unique ways in which the rudiments can be recreated and rephrased. So what I'd like to do is take one of them and show you how you can apply it to the drum set. So let's do it. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do is actually learn the gadament very well. And the one we're going to be dealing with today is number one on page 15, if you have the book. If you don't have the book, no worries. It's going to pop up on your screen in a second. So this one is titled Swiss Flam Accents, Swiss Flam Diddle Combo Displaced. So we're on number one, and I'm just going to play the snare drum part. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. All right, so in my first variation, I'd like you to take the flam and actually make it a flat flam. Yes, a flat flam, meaning both sticks will strike the drum at the same time. This is actually very challenging to do almost as challenging as learning how to play a correct flam. So, we've got regular flam, and we've got flat flam, with the sticks playing from the same height. So the goal here is obviously not to get the flam effect. So, we're gonna move the right hand to different sound sources and play flat flams instead of regular flams. So I'm going to start by moving my right hand to the high tom tom. go over to the rise. Let's try the floor tom. Okay, in variation two, I'm going to take a page out of Alan Dawson's book and his rudimental ritual, where he suggests that you add the samba feet ostinato underneath the rudiment, or in this case, the gadamant. All right, so let's go back to the regular version and play it on the snare with flams, and I'm going to add the samba feet. We'll go to the high tom-tom. Ride symbol. The floor top. Now, let's put all that together without stopping. Okay, now that you know how variation two works, I'm gonna play it on the ride cymbal and snare, but at a super fast tempo. Now, it took me a while to get it up to this tempo, so you wanna definitely work with the metronome, and every day or every week, little by little, try to increase your speed without sacrificing your sound and your technique. Here we go. Okay, in variation three, we're going to talk about a descending and ascending tom-tom fill. I actually stumbled upon this uh, a few days ago, and that just goes to show by spending a lot of time working on these and moving them around the kit, all of you will come up with new and creative ways to play these. So I, I highly encourage that. So for this one, I'm going to break it down slowly. We've got the first measure going down and up the tom 
and we're going to do the same thing with the second measure, which reverses the sticking. So we've got. in mind you have to pay attention to the accents in the right hand for the first measure and in the left hand for the second measure so that same fill a little faster let's add the samba ostinato Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. More importantly, I hope you got something out of it, and I hope it encourages you to try your own variations on the Gadamans. If you don't have the book, highly recommended. Um, again, really creative ways that Steve has recreated and rephrased these rudiments. So if you got something out of this lesson, out of this video, Please take a moment and hit the like button, and also if you'd like, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel if you feel that it would be beneficial for your music education. All right, guys, until next time, take it easy.